A historic moment, a historic vote is right around the corner for FIT Fit 1 to 1, as next week we could see the nullification and abolishment of the US SEC and their egregious oversight, as the Senate has voted to overturn SAB 1 to 1. This could be a pivotal moment to lead the crypto industry to a price boom and especially XRP as they are about to receive legal regulatory clarity in the courts by winning the lawsuit against the SEC. In fact, we can hear in this video from Congress that they are sick and tired of Gary Gendler and are calling for an urgent need to restructure the SEC. Listen closely. As members of this committee, we have worked tirelessly to ensure our markets remain the deepest and most liquid in the world. Unfortunately, Chair Gensler's frenetic partisan rulemaking and approach at the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, threatens to undermine our markets and their standing as the envy of the world. Since taking office in 2021, Chair Gensler has overwhelmed the marketplace with roughly 60 new proposals and more than 30 final rules. In many cases, these rules include radical changes that stifle innovation, inhibit capital formation, and discourage economic growth, all without showing any clear data-driven need whatsoever. Chair Gensler has advanced these changes while abusing the rulemaking process, overstepping important legal and practical guardrails that foster thoughtful, carefully tailored regulations that benefit rather than harm our markets. Committee Republicans are not the only ones sounding the alarm. Chair Gensler has drawn criticism from investors, public and private companies, bipartisan members of Congress, and even his own SEC staff. It is clear the SEC is in desperate need of reforms to bring accountability and transparency into the agency and its rulemaking process. This is Colossal, massive news. Gary Gendler has been hanging on by a thread for a while now, and that thread is now being burned and cut. And it's about damn time, because no single individual like Gary Gensler especially should have free reign to destroy US companies and damage the retail investment market due to political hit jobs. So all that's left to do now, effectively, is just cross your fingers and pray as we are now less than 10 days away from the President of the United States, Joe Biden, to make a verdict on this vote to nullify the SEC. There is speculation that he stated he will veto this vote and this was nothing more than just a bluff. Regardless of that though, whether he vetoes this vote or not, that would just be delaying the inevitable because he himself can no longer stop the innovation anymore and Congress are now taking a very firm stand, seemingly finally looking out for the American people, as they are not just going after the corrupt SEC, not just they are calling for the restructuring of the FDIC, but now US Congressman Thomas Macy introduces a bill to abolish the Federal Reserve. This bill calls for the complete abolishment of the Board of Governors and all Federal Reserve banks within a year. Quote, Americans are suffering under crippling inflation and the Federal Reserve is to blame. During Covid, the Fed created trillions of dollars out of thin air and loaned it to the Treasury Department to enable unprecedented deficit spending. So this is calling for the end of the Fed. But in a more realistic note, what it's really calling for is the end of the old financial system. Solutions right now are being devised to prevent us from ending up in this position ever again. And it's through cryptocurrency, through blockchain, it is through XRP to be a bridge currency for CBDCs worldwide. Don't look short term, think long term, XRP is about to explode in price.